In this series of videos, we will be reviewing features of the KR800 autorefractors, which include the KR800, the KR800PA, and the KR800S. Each of these models are operated in a similar way, but some of the models will provide different features than the others. In this video, we will be discussing the settings options for the KR800S. Settings for the KR800 and KR800PA will be covered in separate videos. To access the settings menu, click on the wrench icon at the upper right of the screen. This will reveal a new window with a series of tabs on the left. The initial tab has several pages of settings. Different pages can be accessed with these arrows on the top. Your user manual will go into greater detail about the purpose of each setting. However, we will cover some of the more commonly used settings. In the common section, the settings of note are patient number reset, which determines whether the device will have all patient ID numbers be the same, or whether it will provide a new number for each patient. It is highly recommended to have this off, especially if the device is connected to CV5000 digital foropter so that each patient will have their own number on the printout and export, which will prevent confusion over which results belong to which patient. Date and time allows you to select the current date and time. Cylinder sign, which determines whether the autorefraction results will be displayed in plus or minus cylinder. In the objective section, the settings of note are auto shoot, which determines whether measurements will be acquired automatically when the eye is aligned and focused, or if the operator will need to acquire them manually. Auto print, which determines whether the device will automatically print data after both eyes have been measured, or whether the operator will need to manually select the print icon. Number of auto shoot, which determines how many measurements are acquired of each eye. The usual number is three. Fog timing, which determines how often the patient will have their vision fog to help prevent the autorefraction from being over minus. The options are once before the first measurement of each eye or once every time they're being measured. Diopter or millimeter, which selects the units of keratometry. In the subjective section, the settings of note are monocular and binocular preset add, which determines whether near vision add is added to one eye at a time or to both eyes simultaneously. Chart preset far, which determines whether the entire chart will automatically be displayed for the patient during distance vision testing, or if not, which visual acuity line will be displayed instead. Chart preset near, which determines whether the entire chart will automatically be displayed for the patient during distance vision testing, or if not, which visual acuity line will be displayed instead. Near distance, which determines the default reading distance for the near testing. The print tab contains options involving what will appear on the printout. It's recommended that the printout includes the date and the patient ID. The communication tab contains options involving exporting data through a round nine pin cable. Depending on the device the KR800 is exporting to, these settings will vary. Please contact Topcon tech support if this type of export is needed. The LAN or local area network tab has options involving exporting data through an ethernet cable. These settings include whether the IP address will be automatically or manually assigned, and options to manually assign the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Please have your IT department contact Topcon tech support as needed. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to topconhealthcare.com. 